everybody, it's Lance again, and I'm going to work on the sled a little more, and today I'm going to take off the brakes and the chain case. And that will allow me now to get in there and degrease everything, inspect, and then begin rebuilding. So this is a crucial step for us right now to get this sled back on the lake and in the trails. There may be some changes coming related to how I rebuild this sled because there's another sled coming into the picture which is not here yet. So this sled may actually become more of a drag sled than a trail sled. But I'm still working out the details on that and just follow along and you'll see what else shows up in the garage. So let's get going on this and let's get the brakes off. Hey everybody, today we started with removing the brake caliper on the right side of the sled. We took the line off and then the caliper slid right off. We took the brake handle off and the associated line. We had to drain the brake fluid and replace it anyway, so that's okay. Then what we did is we took the end cap off the bearing on the left side of the jack shaft. Then on the right side, we had to tap the um, break disc a little bit to get that to come off the spline and that slid off and then we were able to pull the jack shaft right out. We then removed the two coils which power each of the spark plugs and along with that on that bracket it looks like there's some sort of vacuum canister pump regulator or vacuum something or other. These new sleds are so technical and this isn't even new it's a 2005 but it is what it is. So now we're ready to degrease. We're going to load up on the degreaser. The temperatures are starting to get warm 50 degrees Fahrenheit or so and we'll be able to get this thing out, degrease it and then take it to the next step. Let's begin degreasing. That'll start next episode. 